Question number seven from S1, June 2018, the GCE paper. Um, Farmer Adam grows potatoes. The weights of potatoes in grams grown by Adam are normally distributed with a mean of 140 grams. So the weights of potatoes are normally distributed with a mean of 140 grams and a standard deviation of 40 grams. Adam cannot sell potatoes with a weight less than 92 grams. Find the percentage of potatoes that Adam grows but cannot sell. Okay. So we have our normal distribution. He grows potatoes with a mean of 140 and a standard deviation of 40. But he cannot sell potatoes which are less than 92. So 140 is the mean. So that's going to be here. And 92 is going to be over here. It's going to be less than 140. So he cannot sell this proportion of his potatoes. So what we need to do is we need to standardize this so that your mean is zero. And you know this is according to how many standard deviations below the mean this is going to be. So what you have is you have your Z value, which is the standardized value, is X minus the mean over the standard deviation. Okay, so the Z value here is going to be 92 minus 140 over 40 and that will standardize and tell us how many standard deviations below the mean the 92 kilograms is and then we can use our table to help us so we've got here um, 92 minus 40 minus 140 sorry divided by 40 and that gives us minus 1.2 so z equals minus 1.2 okay so that's the standardized value for this is minus 1.2 okay so we want to find this area here. Now, unfortunately, our table for the uh, normal distribution does not give us. So the Z tables do not go to negative uh, values. They only have positive values. So what we're going to do is look at the mirror image of this. So we go to Z equals 1.2, which is going to be over here. The Z value is going to be 1.2 over here. And we want to find that this area. These two areas will be equal because it's symmetrical. Okay, so... Um, this area here, um, as I said, the Z values in, in the book, they, they only give you the area to the left of the Z value. So what we've got to do is we want to find the probability that Z is less than minus 1.2, which is the same as the probability that Z is greater than 1.2, which is basically 1 minus the probability that, that Z is less than 1.2. The area that we'll get in the in the tables will be this area over here okay to the left of this so if we do one minus that we're left with this area here so what we need to do is to go to the the tables and find z equals 1.2 which is over here and we have that area so i'll just take that value with me that's the, that's what we need okay so we need that Z is 1.2 and the area we get is 0 0.8849. This is the area to the left of 1.2, to the left of this, it's all of this area. So we want the area over here, which is 1 minus that, which is the same as this area that we actually were really looking at. So it's 1 minus 0 0.8849 and that should give us our probability. So you have 1 minus 0 0.8849. And that gives us 0 0.1151, 0 0.1151. Now they want the percentage of potatoes. So basically they want this probability as a percentage. So that's equal to 11.5% rounded to 3SF. Okay, so that's the answer to part A. Okay, part B. It says the upper quartile of the weight of potatoes sold by Adam is Q3. Okay, so he can't sell anything which is less than this weight. He can only sell things which are more than 92 grams. Okay, so find the probability that the weight of a randomly selected potato grown by Adam is more than Q3. Okay, so the upper quartile of the weight of the potato sold by Adam is Q3. So basically, we want to find the probability that the weight of a, sand, a selectively, selectively um, a randomly sorry, selected potato grown by Adam is more than Q3. So let's um, redraw the, the graph here, the normal distribution curve. Okay, 
So what we have here is you've got your 92. Okay, 92. Okay, grams, and this is your 140 grams, and this is represented by minus 1.2. Okay, he can only sell this much. Okay, and that was 0 0.8849. Its probability it was 8849. 0.88, whoops, 8849. Okay, 0 0.8849. That's how much you can sell, but we want to find the probability that the weight of a randomly selected potato grown by Adam grown by Adam is more than Q3. So the upper quartile of the weight of potatoes sold by Adam is Q3. So that's what he sells. That's what he sells. So the probability that the weight of a randomly selected potato grown by Adam, so we're talking about all of the potatoes, including these ones, okay? We want to find the probability that the, the, um, the weight of the randomly selected potato is more than Q3. So Q3 would be somewhere over here. We don't know what it is. Okay, that's Q3, but we know that 25% of um, this area is over here. Okay, so it's going to be 25% of this area divided by the whole area. Now the whole area is 1. Okay, the whole area is 1 because you want to find the probability of the weight of a randomly selected potato grown by Adam is more than Q3. So Q3 is 25% of this. Okay, because the upper quartile is 75% of the potatoes in the region that he can sell is less than Q3. So 75% of this much is over there. So therefore 25% of this much is over here. Okay, so this is 0.25, 25% of what he can sell times 0.8849. Okay, which is going to give you um, 25% times 0.25. Okay, which is 0 0.221225. 0 0.221225. So the probability is going to be, if you round it to 3 yourself, 0 0.221. Because you've got to divide that probability by the whole thing, because you're comparing to how much is grown, which is the whole thing. And the whole thing, when you standardize, the area is equal to 1. So the answer is going to be 0 0.221. That's the answer for part B. Okay.